Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another cool arcade game video for you today. We are filming this one today back in one of our workshops uh, because we're not quite done with it yet. We're waiting on a marquee and we got to clean it up and do some other little things, but uh, we just got it up and running. We've been working on the monitor and this is a fairly rare game you don't see too often. It's not super valuable, but it's definitely interesting. So this is Bally Midway's Tri Sports, as you can see by the side art. We picked this up a while ago, brought it in, and started working on it. Someone had actually converted this to a golden tee, but we had the equipment to convert it back and convert it back. We have done so. I'm going to show you a little bit about the cabinet and then we'll play it a little bit. So, this came out in 1989. And is a three sport game, obviously. Tri sports. We've got the wrong, mar that's the right marquee, but it's just not big enough. So, uh, we've ordered the right size one. Uh, but it's got bowling games, it's got pool games, and it's got golf games. The golf game is the sequel to the Bally Sente uh, mini golf game. We actually did a video of that, um, you can find here on our channel. So it seems like they designed its own custom cabinet. There's a door there uh, to get to the uh, PCB and the soundboard power supply. Uh, just standard coin door over there. I can't believe I left that light bulb out. Look at that. I didn't replace the light bulb. Mm. Thought we had it all mocked up good for a video. Uh, Trasports. I think this, I'm not sure if this bracket is supposed to be on the outside like that. And that looks a little weird to me, but who knows? Uh, very simple control panel because it's just three sports games. Well, it's actually several sports games, but three different types of sports games. Uh, you've got a set button and a select button. The set button also uh, doubles as the start button. And then it says action entertainment for one to four players. And you've got a nice little trackball in the middle. So like I said, there are several different games on it. And this really weird looking title screen. That lady's trying to get you to play. Mini Golf Deluxe. Look at that. Mm, it's going to be fun. We'll try it out here in a minute. Uh, but it's got a nice cool cabinet. Remember, this is 1989. So this is nowhere near whenever they were doing uh, the Bally Sente stuff, which is a lot earlier. Had full silk screen side art. Or I guess it was that sticker stuff they were doing like on their pinball machines at the time we've got the back doors here we've taken off because we're messing with it so you can see in the back just a little bit it's got a Wells Garner 7000 monitor in it I don't know if that's original or not it's got a power supply hanging on the side up there this is a lot like um, the Mortal Kombat games and stuff that were to come later from Midway you know it's kind of, it's set up similar with the drawer and everything. I'll go back around to the front to show you that. Uh, but I won't pull it out, so I'll show you the boards from here. So the game board is a lot like um, stuff like, uh, uh, what's the NFL game? High Impact Football. It's a board set a lot like High Impact Football, a lot like uh, Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 2. It's not the same exact set but it's similar it also has this little separate soundboard like those board sets do very cool oh and here's the little sticker people always like to see those I'm not that tall but I think it's showing up good what do you think? And then we've got the same kind of art on this side. Try sports. I believe I will here in a minute. So there is a little door over here. Now these, uh, the operator had some stickers that he installed. So the first thing he did was he put his token stickers on it because it takes tokens, not quarters, right? And then it's, he put this sticker that says, this machine accepts tokens only. It contains no cash. 
<coughs> so don't break into it unless you want a bunch of tokens. Then you might break into it. And then he also put this, warning, protected by electronic secure security system, R Revere Industries. Now I looked all through it, folks. I didn't see any electronic uh, security system. I think he may have just been bluffing. Uh, so you get this drawer here that'll slide out like on a Mortal Kombat. All this actually goes up in the loom up there. Um, yeah. So there you have it. I don't know if the board was supposed to be this way or it might have mounted up and down originally. Coin mixer are missing. Like I said, we're still working through it. Let me see if I can show you the bottom of the trackball. It was kind of interesting. Ooh, I don't know if I can open this with one hand. I did it, people. Where there's a will, there's a way. So the trackball had Midway's weird little interface board on it that doesn't actually, you know, it's just a standard trackball um, which plugs into this little interface board and then the board uh, plugs into some wiring that runs down to the PCB. Just a couple buttons. All the wiring was cut all through hell, so we've been going through and putting new wiring back in it. Um, couple control panel latches. And then we've got the bezel here. This bezel, I believe, probably had some instructions here and up here. And then whenever they converted it to a golden tee, I think they probably painted over them on the back. So we're probably missing part of the bezel. I just saw some weird burn in on it too on that 7000 so that particular one has probably been swapped in so I don't know uh, considering 1989 it probably did have a 7000 originally but I don't think this is the actual original one because it's got some sideways burn in on it but who knows so we thought we'd just film a little uh, video of it because it's such a strange game I'll set up a tripod and we'll play it a little bit. Um, there's a bunch of games on it, so we'll just we'll just play a couple of them, just to uh, just to kind of show you what the thing was like. All right, folks. So we'll play through it a little bit. Let me add some credits. Uh, so you can select more players if you want. So you can do Pool Shark, Power Strike, Mini Golf Deluxe. Let's start with Pool. Select game type, straight, nine ball, or rotation. Let's do nine ball. Let's play. Rack them up. Hit the cursor ball first. Position cue ball. Press set when ready. Position aiming spot. Press set when ready. All right, so I gotta. So the way it works is you put the ball wherever you want, and then you just roll forward. Like it. You... I don't know how much English and shit you can put English and stuff you can put on. <laughs> Play with your thumbs, really. Now, you guys probably think that I just screwed up. That's not what happened. I'm that great. Shot. Yeah, baby. Okay. Ooh. I don't know, people. 
didn't get it hard enough. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Well, I'm screwed now. Can I play this one off of the other one? Are they gonna count that? Looks like they might. I mean, again, you probably thought I messed up. I meant to do that. over the line first, don't I? Mm. Obviously the physics aren't right in this. Clearly. Oh, sorry. That didn't go quite how I wanted it to. Let's try Power Strike. She can do regulation, flash, or triple strike. Let's do. Whoop. Boy, didn't like that. All right, more credits. Alright, regulation. Straight ball. Soft hook. Medium hook. Hard hook. That's what we want, right? Yeah, I don't I don't think you put a move on the um It's gonna do whatever like the I don't think you can curve it with the ball. I think you just hit it. Soft hook. Power strike! Power strike, baby. Look. Oh, oh! Let's try to go the other way with it. Me. 
looks just like me. The hell is that? That was pathetic. get back to my power striking days people I wonder if it handicaps you if you try the same thing over and over again that one pin why they do me like that I picked it up I picked it up hard hook messed up here people okay nah. didn't have enough oomph on it all right I'm gonna try to just kill it That didn't work. All I can say is the music's great. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. So fine, that's it. Folks, so now we're down to mini golf. Press set button when ready to shoot, okay? This one you've got yeah I think on this one you actually aim in the direction that you want the ball to go so if you hit select it changes the T Go crazy. 
crazy with it. Shouldn't have went crazy with it. That didn't work. was part of it. I thought I was going to be able to continue. Again. 
right in the water for a third time. Oh, well, that wasn't that bad. Oh, yeah. This is ridiculous. That makes sense. I guess that wasn't that hard. Um, what am I doing here? Oh, I'm trying to get on the space shuttle. Okay. Again next turn. I mean, it's creative. All right, what are we doing here? Again. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, you can you can definitely like I purposely aimed it a little bit that way that time and it, it definitely lets you do that.
part of this is you can't tell what's going to let you bounce off of it sometimes. Back to hole one, last hole. So I guess since I still had enough credits for one more hole, they just restarted it back in the first one. Midways try sports, and we tried all try of them. Now, by the time you see this video, we may have already sold try sports, we may not have it available for sale anymore. It might have made its way on over to someone else's uh, game room. You can see all of the things that we do have for sale, though, by going to our website. Go to lionsarcade.com. We keep it up to date, and it's always got everything that's for sale right now listed on the website. Now, if you want, you can come by and see us in person. We're in downtown Rock Hill, South Carolina. Uh, we're about 15 miles south of Charlotte, North Carolina. So we're right over the border. And we have a building here with our, you know tons of arcade games for sale. Few pinball machines, few jukeboxes, but mainly arcade games. Um, if you can, like I said, you can check out our what we've got in right now on our website, or you can just stop by. Now, if you can't come by because you don't live anywhere near here and you don't want to buy one, that's fine. Just subscribe to us here on YouTube, and every time we film a video of one of these unique original arcade games, it will alert you and let you know. I think you might have to ring the bell first. Do you didn't recognize any of those people? I don't know if it was any of the, the big names, you know. Um, it will let you know every time that we put up a new video. So leave your comments below about this game. Do you remember playing it back in the day? Have you ever played this? If you have, let us know. And give us a thumbs up for taking the trouble to film it for you. We didn't have to do that, folks, people. We did it, really, out of the kindness of our heart. That's our motivation here. Kindness. So leave your comments below. Make sure to subscribe to us if you haven't before. And uh, we will see you on the next video.